Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a one person bleeder so that you can bleed your brakes by yourself. This is what the bleeder is going to look like. It's very simple. It takes less than five minutes to make and here's what you're going to need to make it. You're going to need some type of bottle. This is 20 fluid ounces or a little more than a half a liter. A good bottle is something that isn't too tall and narrow. You want something with a wide base so when you put it down it won't tip over. You don't want something big like this although it has a good base. You have to fill this up with fluid about that much so that the tube is under the fluid so that air doesn't get sucked back in. I'll show you that later. This will last you two breaks. After you bleed two breaks, you'll have to pour this out halfway and then you can do two more breaks. So besides that, you're gonna need a drill, a drill bit, some clear plastic tubing, and a medium zip tie. The clear plastic tubing that I'm using has a one quarter inch diameter. You can see this is a one quarter inch bit and it'll fit in. Quarter of an inch is a common bleeder valve size, so this will fit over most bleeder valves. And it fits over the bleeder valves on my disc and drum brakes. This bit fits exactly in here, and this is a quarter inch, and this bit's gonna be used to drill a hole in the top here. I also have just a small pilot hole bit, I think this is like 3.30 seconds, that I'm gonna use to drill a pilot hole in here. Okay, so let's get started, this is gonna be a real quick video. So the first step is take your bottle, make sure you clean it out, make sure it's dry. Now take the bottle with the cap on, this is a small drill bit. And you're going to just find the middle here and just drill. You're going to drill a pilot hole right in the middle. Now I have the bigger bit. This is a quarter inch which matches the diameter of my tubing. And I'm going to just put it on there. And now I have a hole at the top of my bottle. Now with the hole, you want to make sure you clean off all this extra plastic and stuff. You don't want to get that in your brake system. You're going to have to clean this out one more time. So you might even want to wait to clean this out till the end. Of course you can see there's all little plastic bits in there. I want to make sure your hole has a snug fit. And you can see here it's a little bit too snug so I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And to do that I'm using the same exact bit. Perfect. You can see how tight that is. It doesn't really constrict the tubing here, but it does keep a nice tight fit. And now I'm going to just put a little pilot hole again on the side somewhere. It could be anywhere. Just like that. And that little pilot hole is just going to be a vent hole. It's not big enough where the brake fluid is going to go flying out if this tips over or something, but it is big enough to let air out. So I like to use about 26 to 30 inches of tubing. This is a good amount. You don't want it to be too long because then it takes a longer amount of time to get fluid to fill up the cavity in the tube because you don't want any air in there. You just want straight fluid. But you also don't want it too short because then you won't be able to put it on the ground when you're bleeding the brakes. Now we'll cut this to size with a regular scissor. And now you just take this, push it all the way into the bottom. So you can see the tube goes all the way to the bottom here and then we're gonna fill it up with brake fluid probably like to about here. Since you're bleeding the brakes yourself, when you let go of the brakes, it'll suck in the fluid instead of the air. And when you press down on the brakes, it'll force the air out and the air will bubble up to the top of the bleeder that you made and it'll be vented out. And finally, you could add a zip tie at the end, but this is optional. I use a zip tie if the connection between the hose and the bleeder valve isn't tight enough. So now you know how to make a simple one-man bleeder. You don't have to go out and buy a $30 one. This is really cheap, really easy to make. If this video is helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly, and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the comments section below. On the screen, you're going to see a bunch of brake-related videos. You can see the bleeder in action and watch how it works, and how to bleed your brakes, and how to flush your brakes by clicking on the top video. The links to these videos on the screen are in the description as well. Also in the description below are going to be the links to my Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. If you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out.